Hello children, welcome to your English lesson. This lesson is based on unit 1 of your English textbook. We are going to practice reading today. In this lesson, you will read a simple text for specific information and you will transfer information from a simple text into a grid. Let's start the lesson. Simple texts we are going to read today are notices and we are going to read lost and found notices. Now children, do you know what lost and found notices are? Now if you lose something, you can display a notice. In this notice, you give information about the lost item and you have a chance of finding it. It can be a lost object, animal or even a person. And on the same way, when you find something also, you can display a found notice. When you display a found notice, you have a chance of finding the owner and handing over this object to the owner. Let's read a notice now. This notice appears on page 7 of your textbook. It's a notice about something lost. Now what you have to do is read the notice and answer the questions that will be displayed on the screen. The questions will appear one after the other and each question has four options. You have to select the correct answer from these four options. And remember children, if you want, you can pause the video, go back and read the notice and come back to the activity once again. You can start now. Here is your first question. Now here the question says, what is missing? So you have to read the notice and find what is missing. You have four options. A school bag, a dog, a cat and a book. Yes, according to the notice, what is missing? You are correct. A dog. Okay, let's move on to the second question. Have a look at the question. The question asks, what is the name of this dog? Again, four options. Brown, Tiny, Nick and Bruna. What is said in the notice now? Yes, you are correct. The dog's name is Nick. Let's move on to the next question. What is the breed of this dog? Four answers are there. Labrador, Bulldog, Pomeranian, and Poodle. Look at the notice now. Yes, the answer is Labrador. Fourth question. Read the question first. Yes, when was it lost? You have four dates as four options. 3rd May, 5th July, 3rd March, 5th May. Refer to the notice once again. Yes, the dog was lost on 3rd May. You are correct there. Now the fifth question. What colour was Nick's collar? What colour was Nick's collar? Is it black, red, brown or white? Yes, it's red. You are correct. Sixth question. What is Nick's license number? There are four numbers here. They seem to be more or less same. Okay, read the notice. What is the answer? You are correct. It is the first one. D5498. Now the seventh question. What is Nick's color? Is Nick light brown, dark brown, chocolate brown or golden brown? Yes, the notice says Nick is golden brown in color. You are correct there. Okay children, now you have the last question. The last question says, which word describes the reward 
anyone who provides information will get the word that describes the reward what are the four options handsome valuable expensive and wonderful yes in the notice the writer states that he will give a handsome reward so the word that describes the reward is handsome i hope you got all these correct okay now that you have read one notice let's read another although the earlier one is on a lost item this one is written by someone who has found something so what you have to do is read this notice and find the information to fill in this grid so you have to write what the item is the color when and where it was lost and also how to claim it okay let's start the activity right here is your notice this notice appears on page 7 of your textbook now read the notice and find the required information now first you have to find the item can you see it in the notice yes it's a men's wallet what about the second one the second one requires you to find the color of this wallet can you find it there yes the color is brown what about the third one what's inside hmm there seems to be lots of things inside money and two credit cards let's move on to the next one when was it found what's given in the notice yes yesterday that is 10th june around 4:30 pm so you have to write all those there yesterday 10th june around 4:30 pm next one where was it found yes it was found near the children's park on park street colombo 5 near the children's park on park street colombo 5 now the last one how to claim that means if it's your wallet how are you going to get it back yes you have to write contact the security office of the children's park i hope you got it correct okay children now you have read two notices you read two notices and found specific information and you transferred the specific information into a grid now we are going to do something different you are going to read an announcement This announcement is about a person who has gone missing. It's a competition. It's a hidden stranger competition. So you are going to read this and find information about this person. So you have to fill the information into this grid. You have to find the thing or the person missing and you have to describe the appearance and you have to say where you have to contact or whom you have to contact. Okay let's start here is the announcement now you have to read this announcement and fill in the information the first column wants you to find the thing described here it is not a thing it's a person so you can write a man or even a person there then the second column you have to describe the appearance or the special features there are several so let's start what is the first one you are going to write there you can write 5 feet and 10 inches tall then you can say dark there's another thing you can say has a big birthmark on his left cheek okay you can also say wearing a white long sleeved shirt a pair of black trousers a white hat and a pair of black sandals okay so you have to write all these for the appearance then the last column the last column asks you to write whom you should contact or where you should contact so you have to write the registration desk okay children now we have come to the end of today's lesson 
In this lesson, we read and found specific information from a simple text and we also transferred information into a grid. In our next lesson, let's practice grammar. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Please subscribe to this channel. Goodbye.